Well, I'm Janet Durig. I'm the Executive Director of the Capitol Hill Pregnancy Center in Washington, D.C. And the Capitol Hill Pregnancy Center was founded 35 years ago. We've been here to serve clients who are in crisis pregnancies, only we don't really call them crisis pregnancies anymore. We want to help people who are questioning whether or not to keep their baby. We'd love to show them how we walking with them can help them keep their baby. But we also know that our young women uh, in many ways are struggling with what they should do. Our goal is to help guide her to see her support system if she chose life. Many clients come to us not just for the pregnancy test, they might come already knowing they're pregnant and that's when we start with them with the material support. So we offer material support for everything from baby clothes to strollers to high chairs. Uh, things that are gently used have been donated to the center. We walk with them by offering parenting classes taught by professionals and childbirth classes taught by professionals. We just help them in, in every practical way you can imagine. We are always looking for volunteers um, here at the Pregnancy Center. And we're looking for individuals or small groups. Um, and eventually, uh, when um, it's safe to do so, we'd like to bring back our large groups to come and lend hands here at the center. Volunteers can help in many different roles, um, helping us sort the clothes, uh, receptionist roles um, and data entry, and working one-on-one -on -one with our clients. What's rewarding is to see our volunteer process in action where um, somebody is actually sorting the clothes that were donated um, in an organized way for our client advocates to be able to um, grab specifically what each client needs and hand them right um, to her. At the Capitol Hill Pregnancy Center, we really help people, but it takes people donating, which people during COVID have been very generous. Their first and most desperate need that showed up during the beginning of COVID has been the need for diapers, just like toilet paper and paper towels. But we've continued to see clients from throughout the whole thing. We've given pregnancy tests just like we always do. Uh, we have a safer way of, we have a different door that people come in. They can enter that door and go right into the counseling room. We're, we've just served them as we always do, material support, pregnancy testing, um, and parenting. Uh, we've been doing virtual parenting classes. Um, so we've been doing everything we've always done. One of the things I'd like people watching this video to know is that without them, we couldn't keep these doors open. Whether it's financial donations, whether it's their gently used baby equipment and baby clothes, uh, whether it's uh, somebody who ships us a case of diapers once a month or twice a year, or volunteers to help here physically at the center. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do it. And so I wanna make sure people know that.